Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in again, I hope you're all doing good. Do you know what I love? I love a new bike day, I love a good post day, and as you can see, we have a, a fresh new addition to the stable here. Um, unfortunately though, look, fragile. It says fragile on it in very clear letters right there. And that is not how you want to see a new bike turn up, with a massive great hole in the front. I think it's just the axle poking through, so fingers crossed the contents are okay so what is in the box well i've got a new fixed gear single speed to play about on and this is from the guys at santa fixie they were like do you want a bike and i was like well i'm not going to say no am i so i think it's time we opened it up checked out what's inside and hopefully there's not any damage to the actual frame and stuff in there because that would suck so let's get this open so when you actually order your frame you can pick handlebars so you can have like the ball horns you can have the flat bars or you can get the drop bars you don't normally get all three sets with it, but I want to talk to you guys about which is the best set to use. Oh, made that four sets of bars. I've found another extremely flat pair of bars. Oh, I see they're longer. Right, so here we go. Here we have everything. As you can see, there's a little sneak peek here. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Right, so let's get these chops off, get this in the stand and all built up. Right, so before anyone tells me off for clamping it, on the frame, it is a aluminium frame, it is 6061 aluminium and that is an aluminium frame, aluminium fork, so it's not going to be the lightest build, but it's just a fun knockabout town bike and it's going to have brakes and for me to have a single speed of brakes it's going to be quite fun and it's going to be a really simple build, compared to like switching over parts, getting disc brakes set up, like this, this is easy right? sent these bikes to test review so I want to give you guys like an honest opinion so this is not the highest end track bike so you do get these complete and like I say you get to pick your bars but depending on what bars and what setup you get how what wheel depth it varies from about like 580 to 600 euros it comes with their own brand crank set their own brand wheels own brand stem like everything seems to be own brand Santa Fix it I'm not sure who makes the brakes but it all seems fairly decent so it doesn't have a lot of the features a modern bike would have you know, and I say modern, but you guys know what I mean. It's, there's no tapered head tube on this into like a carbon fork. It is an aluminium frame, aluminium fork. It's one and one eighth steerer tube at the top and at the bottom. And most bikes now do run like a tapered head tube because it gives you more stiffness. But that's not to mean it's going to be bad or a negative thing, but that's one of the reasons they can keep the prices down and you can get a complete for around the 600 euro mark. So it's a threaded bottom bracket, comes with their own brand crank set, which actually does look very nice. It's not that big a chain ring, it looks like about a 44 tooth, so I'm gonna have to check, but I believe it's a 44 tooth. And on the wheels, you get a 16 tooth, like three wheel sprocket here, doo -doo -doo, or a fixed sprocket right there, see, with a lock ring. So you can run it as a fixed gear or as a three wheel. Like I said, I'm actually gonna be surprising you all here. I'm not gonna be running this as a fixed gear. I'm gonna be running it as a single speed. Let's do this very simple, quick, and hassle-free build because I don't have to set up hydraulic disc brakes. Right, cue the chill music whilst I build a bike and, and swear a lot. I have a bunch of handlebars. I was gonna do a big chat about handlebars and what handlebars you'd run on your fixed gear and which ones are best, but honestly, that's gonna take hours, right? So we have four options. You have your drop bar, which is your standard road handlebar, a few hand positions, so there is those. There is always the road handlebars. And then we have your ball horn bars, quite a good bar if you're climbing a lot. And then you have these like nippy little riser bars. See, so these are actually a little bit wider than the drop bar. And then similar to the riser bar, you get the full length like flat bar, but this bar, like I say, is full length, it's completely flat. There's no rise to it. I think I personally would like something in between these two. I think I'm gonna go with the riser bar because the brake levers, I haven't checked yet, but I do believe they're like more of a mountain bike style. So I think that would look better on one of these. What bars would you run? What do you think? What would you put on this, you know? I could do a whole video, <laughs> this whole thing is like quite friendly. Do you guys want me to do a video all about bars and which bars you should use on your fixed gear bike or do you not care? Let me know down below in the comments. So, let's get these on. So the only thing left to attach is the brakes, the pedals, 
and then we are all set up. I've got to say that there's a very, very, very nice saddle on this. It's a Celitalia one, and like, I don't know if it's like carbon at the ends or if it's like black, but, but whatever it is, it looks very nice. See, so very impressive saddle. Um, right, let's get these brakes on. Oh, hmm. So there we go, we seem to have encountered our first problem. These brakes are for a very, very, very wide bar, and, and, and that means that they would only fit on like here. Which is like, can you see that? Look, that's like where the brakes would fit. I mean, I need to put a shim in to get them to fit around the end of the bars. That, that's, that's a little bit annoying. It doesn't fit, so I think the only option I have actually is to put on, okay, because of the design of these brakes, it seems like you're kind of forever destined to have them in the wrong position. So, whilst this bike is like sold as a single speed and a fixed gear, I think it would definitely work more as a fixed gear because if you want to run brakes, like you're going to have to run them in such a weird position. Do you know what I mean? They're going to, they're going to be so far in. Like look how far in there. Can you see my tissue just in the way? But you see how far in that is. So like that's like on the edge of where it goes down. So if I'm like running here, you can you can kind of reach it. I think it's just going to have to be there. I think that is the only option. The wide risers, you're going to have the same problem again. Look, so where the bar tapers down. The brake fits quite snugly here, as you can see, but as we go down, these bars are just not going to work. They're the ones that I wanted to run, but the brakes just don't fit on them. I'm going to move them out as far as possible. So that is, that is like the maximum distance away from the stem. So I can foresee a bit of an issue. Do you know what it's going to be? That because these both reach across here, you see this little barrel right here, well, this barrel is going to be very close to the barrel there. So I'm not actually going to be able to run these brake levers level because if I do have two on in this position, they're going to hit. You watch. Look, can you see these? These two barrels, look. These two here, there's no way you're getting a cable to root down and out of those. So if you do want to run two brakes on your bike, you're going to have to run them slightly off-centred. So you can see, so the brakes... I don't like it. So I don't often give like massively negative reviews. I'm gonna be honest, I'm always quite positive. Send me one brake and I'll run it as a fixed gear and you can have a front brake and you can use your legs for the back brake. That's completely legal. But if you're running a single speed, I want two brakes. What I don't want is one brake up here and one brake down there. I want them like level and I want them further out. I wanna be able to put them wherever I wanna be able to put them. <laughs> is that irrational? Am I being irrational? You see what I mean? Look, it's one. Like, I can't, ro Right, breathe deeply. I'm gonna have a moment. We're gonna, we're gonna just ignore that for now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the cabling in and we're gonna see, because I'm not gonna stress about a hypothetical because this might actually be fine. So let's see if it's fine or not. I mean, this could all be for nothing and I'll have to um, edit all that out and, and apologize to Santa Fixie because I was wrong. But it's not often that I'm wrong, especially when it comes to bikes. I can get them both together, but to make them work, I can only pull my brakes at the same time, well, you can see here, if you come in, so as I pull the brake, you see here, this, this one bends because it's like underneath. This one, it's fine, free moving. Back brake, perfect. Front brake, eek, we're catching the cable right there. So essentially, if I pull my front brake, it also pulls the back brake on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna leave it like this and I'm gonna apply the like double hand braking every time so um, I don't end up braking and ruining the cable, but it would be nice, you know, to not have to do that. I would rather ride around and pull both my brakes at the same time than have to look at my bike with wonky like brake levers. Anyway, we're pretty much done, so I'm gonna pump these tires up, chop off the excess cable, and then give you guys a little look at it and a quick run through. Right, let's finish this off. Let's do a quick run through, front to back. So we have the drop bars with the brake levers that don't actually work unless you put them both together. So we call them the simultaneous braking system. So away from the brakes, this is available as a single speed stroke fixed gear bike. A lot of people do run these as a fixed gear, so you're not gonna run into this problem. You're only gonna be running a front brake. So it might not be a problem for everyone. It's a 6061 aluminum frame, aluminum fork. Total weight, 9.9 .9 kilograms. 
but I'd say for £600, if you're looking for a fixed gear that's complete, give Santa Fixie a little look. We will see how it rides in a video later on, but for now, I'm going to leave it there. You guys are amazing. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye!